I have been studying how I may compare this prison where I live unto the world. And for because the world is populous, and here is not a creature but myself, I cannot do it. Yet I'll, I'll hammer it out. My brain, I'll prove the female to my soul, my soul the father, and these two beget a generation of still breeding thoughts. And these same thoughts people this little world in humors like the people of the world, for no thought is contented, the, the better sort, as thoughts of things divine are intermixed with scruples. You set the word itself against the word, as thus. Come, little ones, and then again, it is as hard to come as for a camel to thread the postern of a small needle's eye. Thoughts tending towards ambition, they do plot unlikely wonders, <laughs> like how these, these vain, weak nails may tear a passage through the flinty ribs of this hard world, my ragged prison walls, and because they cannot die in their own crime. Thoughts tending towards ambition, they, they do flatter themselves that, that they are not the first of fortune slaves, nor shall not be the last. Like, like silly beggars, who, sitting in the stocks, refuge their shame, saying, Others have, many have, and others must sit here. And in this thought they, they find a kind of ease, bearing their own misfortunes on the backs of those that have before endured the like. Thus play I, in one person, many people, and none contented. Sometimes I think myself a king. And then treasons make me wish myself a beggar, and so I am. Then crushing penury persuades me I was better a king. And then I am I kinged again. And by and by think I am unkinged by Bolingbroke and straight and nothing. But whate'er I be, nor I, nor any man that but man is, with nothing shall be pleased until he is eased with being nothing. <laughs> Music do I hear? <laughs> ah, ah, keep time! How sour sweet music is when time is broke and no proportion kept. So it is in the music of men's lives. And here have I the daintiness of ear to check time broke and the disordered string, but for the concord of my state and time, and not an ear to hear my true time broke. I wasted time, and now doth time waste me, for time hath made me his number and clock. My thoughts are minutes, and they do jar their watches unto my eyes, the outward watch, or to my finger like a dial's point, is pointing still and cleansing them from tears. Now, sir, the sound that tells what hour is are clamorous groans, and they do strike upon my heart, which is the bell. So, sighs and tears and groans show minutes and times and hours. But my time runs posting on in Bolingbroke's proud joy whilst I stand fooling here, his jack of the clock. This music bans me! Let it sound no more! And oh, it hath helped madmen to their wits, and in me it seems it shall make wise men mad. But, 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 blessing on his heart that gives it me, for it is a sign of love, and love to, to Richard is a, a strange brooch in this all-hating world. <laughs>